Richland Dilworth was a was a really important transitional mayor for us. Uh, he was uh, very opinionated, very um, direct and demanding, and uh, he was a treat to work for in, in that respect because he would call you into his office and uh, express very directly what he thought you ought to be doing with whatever your project was at the moment. Uh, but then he would commit himself to it. He would go out to a public meeting with you. He, some of those were fairly unpopular. He put his, he built his home in the first of our urban renewal projects. Uh, so he basically signed on and committed himself uh, to what we were trying to achieve. And it, it was politically unpopular at times, and, and maybe that was a bit of the reason he didn't succeed in his run for uh, governor after uh, six years as mayor. Uh, I don't think he carried enough votes in Philadelphia to, to get it done. But what he did was incredible and incredibly important. And, and he went on to, maybe it was a good thing he didn't get elected to be governor. Jim Tate came in, served 10 years, two years remaining of Dilworth's terms and then two uh, four-year terms of his own. And Jim uh, Tate was sort of the, the mayor that was the mechanic of getting things done. He was not as excitable um, and uh, as concerned with um, design as, as Richardson Dilworth was and, and image and so forth, but he was uh, a master mechanic, so we achieved a lot while he was mayor. Dilworth stayed on, became the head of the Board of Education, was a community leader for his entire life, and so we owe a lot to him.